Hey guys, Kevin Francisco here from yugatech.com and today we're gonna take a look at the Cherry Mobile Flare XL. Let's go! The Flare XL sports an IPS screen that spans 5.5 inches diagonally. It boasts a one glass solution technology that reduces the thickness of the display and makes picture quality better. The handset also incorporates thin body that gives it an overall slim profile. This makes it easy for the hands to grip compensating for its wide body. As you can see, it has a bronze-colored trimming that runs around the entire device which positively accents its body and makes it even sleeker. The volume rocker and power and unlock button are both on the top right side of the device. They are positioned just right for the fingers to easily reach and press, whether left or right-handed. Connectivity ports are found up top, right along the strip of its chrome-like accents. Centered at the topmost edge of the plastic back panel, we have the 13 megapixel rear camera with an LED flash. Turning it right side up, we'll find the 5 megapixel front-facing camera and its speaker for voice calls lined up with the sensors. Adding to the back cover, is the loudspeaker located just below the company's logo, which is awkwardly placed off-center. This phablet implements a three-piece capacitive button setup, namely options, home, and back. Finally, prying open the plastic back cover reveals its 2300 mAh battery which, you'd be glad to know, is removable. Just above it is where the trays for dual SIM cards and microSD are found. Despite its large screen and wide form factor, the Player XL is not too heavy on the hands. It's not too light either, but packs a good amount of heft that helps in operating the handset with one hand. We played a couple of full HD movies and we noticed that it has good viewing angles thanks to its IPS display. Colors were decently saturated as well with the blacks appearing as true blacks. In addition, we also enjoyed its capability to really turn up the brightness whenever we demanded it. While the display is nothing short of enjoyable for viewing images both still and moving, we sometimes experienced bothersome stutters while playing videos of certain file format. In addition, it doesn't support AC3 audio codecs so some videos played without any sound. This can be easily remedied by converting the files before transferring bring them to the phone. The device runs on an Android 4.4 KitKat OS which has a shortcut menu right from its locked screen mode. From it, you can easily go to specific apps and settings like Facebook, Gmail, and Twitter. Storage-wise, it carries an 8GB internal memory but you're left with a little less than 6GB of usable storage since its OS and pre-installed apps already take up space. This includes proprietary apps namely Cherry Fun Club, Cherry Play, and other apps like OneDrive, Dr. Booster, KakaoTalk, and TouchPal X. If you need extra room to store your media files in, you can always offer to get an extra memory card. Touting a 13 megapixel rear camera with BSI sensor, the Flare XL produced decent images with good tonal balance. In addition, the camera still maintains focus even if you zoom in on your shots. Here are more samples from the Flare XL's rear camera. After using it as a second phone for almost two weeks, we were able to accomplish daily tasks on it although we were not very enthusiastic about its performance on some aspects. For one, we experienced a bit of an annoying problem while typing on its keyboard. Oftentimes, the letters would get doubled even when we just pressed it once. The product is a sentence with misspelled words. We could always go back and correct the spelling but it happened quite often and it got tiring to keep on changing the errors. Also, if we would nitpick, we could say that not every switch between apps was fluid. We still experienced slight lags and jitters in transition effects. This doesn't affect the performance that much but it's definitely noticeable if you're particular with that sort of thing. Here are the benchmark scores. The Flare XL is capable of data connection at 3G. We had no problems using this feature but we noticed we had a bit of a hard time getting good reception at places where we easily had 3G signal before. Other than that, making calls was easy and can easily be heard on both lines. 
we used PC Mark to assess how long its battery could last and compare it against other smartphones we've tested. Running the app, we scored 3 hours and 55 minutes for its 2300 mAh battery. This is below average as the Oplus 360HD with its smaller 2000 mAh battery lasted a little less than 4.5 hours during our test. The Cherry Mobile Flare XL is a phablet that has an interesting design with its bronze accent and slim form factor. It's also got an enjoyable 5.5 inch screen for viewing photos and watching videos. This is definitely something we'd bring and watch movie on if we found ourselves traveling with lots of time to kill. Although performance wise, it can handle everyday tasks but shows some slight hiccups and lags while switching between apps or unlocking the screen. On the downside, we were not fans of its faulty touch input that doubled the letters of the words we typed. Battery life also left us unimpressed. For us, it would work nicely as a secondary phone, dedicated for media needs and nothing more. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.